in Second <laughs> Nephi chapter 32. Nephi has just unloaded all of these teachings about the doctrine of Christ, about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and repentance and enduring to the end. But I love verse 7. And now I, Nephi, cannot say more. The Spirit stoppeth mine utterance, and I am left to mourn because of the unbelief and the wickedness and the ignorance and the stiff neckedness of man. For they will not search knowledge nor understand great knowledge when it is given unto them in plainness, even as plain as words can be. And I don't think Nephi is saying this because he's saying, you all are so wicked that I can't give you any more truth. But I think he's saying, I need to stop because it's now your responsibility to learn more. I can't constantly just feed you. You have to learn for yourself. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord's saying, okay, you've given them enough. You've told them to go get the spirit. Again, verse five is just before this. Receive the Holy Ghost. It will show you unto you all things that you should do. We've just said that. Now I'm going to pull back a little and say, now it's up to you. Go receive it. How are you going to receive it? You need to go and pray. Right. And then you'll receive it. And when we have faith like Kellyanne's, we can <laughs> receive the rest of what Nephi was trying to teach. Well, I also think like, there's also this like, this is what this says. And it's yeah. like, okay, that might, that might be your interpretation, but also let somebody feel it. Sometimes the words are extremely harsh and you're not giving you know, whether it's new members, whether it's converts, an opportunity to understand the word for themselves. Right, that's so beautiful. Tell people to go read, like let them read for themselves, you know, let them read and pray, read and pray and get the answers.